Hi, good day everyone. This is me again, Bianca Luenji Magdao from 2105. So for today's video, I'm going to tackle with you the summary of chapter 10 which is entitled Application Layer. So, but uh, but before that, um, uh, I will tackle with you first the definition of application layer. So, applications such as web browsers, on online gaming, chatting with, chatting with, and emailing, emailing friends enable us to send and receive data with relative ease. Typically, um, we can access the use these applications without knowing how they work. However, um, however, the, uh, for network professionals, it is important to know how an application is able to format, transmit, and interpret messages that are sent and received across the network. Then, visualizing the mechanisms that enables communications across the network is made easier if we use the layered frame of networks of OS, OSI layer. Um, so, by the end of this chapter, you will be able to explain how the functions of the application layer, session layer, and presentation layer work together to provide network services to, to end users' applications. Mm -hmm. Then, describe how common application layer protocols interact with end user applications. Describe at a high level common application layer protocols that provides internet service service to end users including um, WW services and email then describe application layer protocols that provide IP addressing services including DNS and DHCP then describe the features and operating uh, operations of well-known application layer protocols that allow for file sharing services including FTP file sharing services and SMB protocols. Then, explain how data is moved across the network from opening an application to, to receiving a data. So, um, for application session and presentation. So, presentation and session layers. Uh, what are the difference between them? So, presentation layer, um, it is a coding and con uh, and conversion of application layer data, data compression, and also data encryptions for the transmission and, de and decryption of data upon received by the destinations. While the session layer, um, it is functions, creates and maintains dialogues between source, source rather, and destination applications. Then, it also handles and exchange a uh, handles the exchange of information of initiate dialogues, keep them active, and to restart sessions. So, TCP or IP application layer protocols. Uh, domain, uh, domain name service protocols or what we call DNS. Um, it is used to resolve internet names to IP addresses. Telnet, um, it is a terminal emulation protocol used to provide remote access to servers and network, networking devices. Then, Bootstrap Protocol or B or BootP, uh, it is a precursor to the DHCP protocol, a network protocol used to obtain IP address information during boot up. Then, um, Dynamic, uh, dynamic host protocol or what we call DHCP. It is used to assign an IP address, subnet mask, uh, default gateway, and DNS server to a host. Then hypertext transfer protocol or what we call HTTP. It is used to transfer files that make up the web pages of the World Wide Web. So then file transfer protocol or what we call FTP it is used for interactive file transfer between systems then trivial file transfer protocol TFTP it is used to connectionless active file transfer then simple mail transfer protocol um, SMTP 
it is use the transfer of mail messages and attachments then post office protocol or what we call POP or POP used by email clients to retrieve email from a remote server then last um, internet message access protocols or what we call IMAP it is an another protocol for email retrieval so for the application layer protocols we visited so there are three application layer protocols involved in everyday work or play include first http to browse the web second um, simple mail transfer protocol or smtp to enable users to send email then last um post office protocol or what we call pap <coughs> to enable users to receive email then so for a well-known application layer protocols and services so um Server um, resources are stored in the on the server on the server while the client um, is a hardware or software combination that um, that people use directly. Then, well-known application layer protocols and services. No. Hmm? So for the HTTP and HTTPS, um, develop to publish and retrieve HTML pages used for data transfer, um, specifies a request or response protocol, three common message type or um, three message three common message types are get, post, and put. Get is a client request for data. Post and put are used to send messages that upload data to the web server. So, for the common application layer protocols, SMTP, POP, and IM, IMAP. So, uh, typically use an application called a, uh, called a mail user agent or email client. Um, it allows message to be sent. Uh, places received message into the client mailbox. SMTP, send email from either a client or a server. POP, receive email messages from an email server. IMAP, internet message access protocol. <clears throat> and email client provides the functionality of both protocols within one application. Then, uh, the SMTP or simple mail transfer protocol. Uh, it is transfer mail transfer mails message must be formatted pr properly SMTP processes must be running on both the client and server <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me and message header must have a properly formatted recipient email addresses and the sender and SMTP uses port 25 while while um, post office protocol or what we call POP, um, it is enables a workstation to retrieve mail from a mail server. Mails is, mail is downloaded from the server to the client and then deleted on the server. Then post office protocol uh, uses port one, 110. Then POP does not store messages. Then POP3 is the Suitable for an ISP because it uh, alleviates their responsibility for managing large amount of storage for their emails, email service, uh, email servers rather than. Um, so for the mda accepts a piece of email from mta and performs the actual delivery mda also receives all the inbound mail from the mta and, pla and places into mailbox that mda can also resolve finally delivers uh, mda can also resolve final delivery issues such as virus scanning spam filtering and return ship handling 
then um, simple meal transfer protocols or SMTP also transfers meals reliability reali reliably and efficiently while post office protocol or pop um, it enables a workstations to retrieve meal from a meal server with pop meal is downloaded from the server to the client and then deleted on the server then while the internet messages access protocol or what we call IMAP it is uh, another protocol that to retrieve email addresses ah uh, email ma messages only then unlike pop when the user is connected to an IMAP capable server copies of the messages are downloaded to the client applications then <clears throat> Lastly, original messages are kept on the server until manually deleted. So, for the all in all summary of chapter 10, so applications are computer programs in which the users interact and which initiate the data transfer process at the user's request. Then, use, uh, then services are background programs that provide the connection between the application layer uh, and the lower layer of the networking model. Then, protocols provide a structure of agreed upon rules and processes that ensure services running on one particular device can send and receive data from a range of different network layer, network devices rather. rather then, HTTP supports the delivery of web pages to the device, to end devices. Then, SMTP, POP, and IMAP support sending and receiving email. Then SMB and FTP enable users to share files. Then P2P application applications make it easier for consumers to seamlessly share media. Then DNS resolves the human uh, leg 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 legible names used to refer to networks. Resources resources it numeric addresses use it disables by the networks then all of these elements works together at the application layer and the application layer enables users to work and play over the internet so guys um that's all for the chapter 10 summary in at akad so thank you for watching